Hey, Alex, um, you know, I know you're not going to get into details, but when you have maybes on guys, do you have to throw whole, you know, personnel groupings or formations out or, or, or is, can you roll, you know, with the maybes uh, in that regard? You talking about uh, COVID positive maybes? Yeah, just, just you know, not knowing guys are, are going to be there or not. Yeah, no, it's kind of like the injury uh, scenarios where a guy's questionable going into the game. Um, you definitely have to plan for it. You have to have, you know, backup um, plans for groupings, personal groupings, and play types as well. Yes, yeah, so we definitely have uh, have thought through that. Thanks, Zach. Mary Kay Cabot, I'll have our next question. Uh, yes, Alex, just wondering about uh, Case Keenum and what your confidence level is in Case and why you expect him to perform uh, really well on Saturday, especially given the fact that there are so many guys around him that that might not be able to play. Sure, and I have the utmost confidence in, in confidence in Case. Um, he's a really a, you know a true pro. Um, we're very lucky to have him. Um, he's a guy that can come in and win one game, a bunch of games for you. He's shown that in the past, and uh, you know, regardless of who he's out there, we know that um, you know the moment won't be too big for him. He's been there before, and he'll be calm, collected, and be a great leader. Uh, for us if he does play on Sunday, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Jake Trotter, you're up. Yeah, Alex, uh, you know, how difficult is it going to be for you to game plan uh, for Saturday with so many moving parts? Um, you know, you, you probably don't know for sure yet who you're exactly going to have uh, for the game at this moment. Well, uh, that's the world we live in right now. Um, you know, we were exposed to it last year and we function well in it. So feel confident that we can uh, do that again. Um, our, all we can really focus on is today, um, getting the group of guys that are going to be available today, um, getting them uh, taught up. The other guys will have to be virtual, um, but if they are available, that's great. But right now it's about today, getting this group ready for our Thursday, Thursday uh, practice of third downs, pressures and whatnot. Yeah, I, you guys have the practice obviously scheduled for tomorrow. If for some reason you can't have that practice, you know, what would your level of concern be going into Saturday without a practice this week, again, with so many moving parts uh, across the board? Yeah, um, you know, it, it is what it is. And we'll roll with the punches. And, you know, I'm confident that we'll have this group, um, whoever's available, they'll be ready and they'll give their best effort on, on Saturday. Um, if we get to practice, great. If we don't, great. You know, we're going to go out and play and play our butts off like we always do. Thank you, Jake. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, Alex. Um, how much did going through this last year before the Pittsburgh game benefit you guys as a staff, but especially you um, having to take over that play calling role? Um, it definitely uh, helped. Obviously, going through it once before makes it a little easier the second time. Um, you know, hopefully Kev can get back um, for Saturday. If not, you know, I've been there before. I don't feel like, you know, it's too big for me as well. I'm ready to go in and, and help this team win. Um, you know, we, we game plan together. Um, you know, this is a collective group offensively, um, regardless of who will be there. Hopefully Kevin can make it. And Kevin said Baker's been in the meetings. How's he seemed to you? You know, he fought so long to get kind of over those injuries and then to have this happen, I would think he'd be disappointed. Uh, disappointed, but um, again, it's, it, is the, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Um, we just have to roll with the punches. Um, you know, I told him, you know, if, if you're not back this week, I expect you to coach me up on Green Bay's defense next week. So, um, you know, we'll just keep moving forward one day at a time, and, and uh, that's the mindset here. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Tony Grossi, go ahead. Two uh, quarterback questions, Alex. Uh, what can you say about uh, Case Keenum's mobility? and ability to leave the pocket at this stage of his career? Um, you saw him against Denver run for a big first down uh, down in the red zone, so he still has the ability to use his legs for sure. Um, you know, cases, there's not going to be anything that they show him that surprises him. Um, his experience level, um, you know, his, his ability to, uh, you know, see defense and see what's coming, um, that'll help him a lot as well. Um, you know, he plays on time with the ball. He'll get that ball out of his hands. Um, but he can still move enough, plenty, plenty fine to, to – obviously pick up a first down when we needed it uh, against Denver. And what can you tell us about uh, how Nick Mullins has progressed in this system on the practice squad um, in, in his role? Sure. Uh, Nick's another guy that's played football in the NFL and had success. So um, the work he's put in with, with TC McCartney on the side, um, they go through the same script as, as the, as Baker would on a, on a practice day. I know he works hard, um, you know, in the film room and on the side at practice, 
stays out at, after practice and gets opportunities with the other guys. Um, you know, if something were to happen and we needed Nick to show up, I have confidence in him as well. I know he's put the work in and he's had success in the league as well. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Marla, right now, are you have our next question? Alex, is there anything you remember from last year when you went through this, I mean, just that you might want to improve just about the game day part of it? Um, not, not really, Marla. I think, um, you know, just having the confidence to go in and, and, and if I have to do, if I have to call it, call it as closely as, as, as I would as Kevin was there. Like I said, last year, I don't want him to say what the hell is he doing? That's my goal, you know? Um, and that, that, that blueprints work for us. We just need to stay consistent. I love our plan this week. I love the focus, regardless of our, whether we're in the building or not, the guys are locked in. Um, so I feel good going into Saturday. And how do you feel about the, just the mood of the guys you've talked to, like no panic, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's the second time going through it. So it's, it's not nothing new for us. Um, you know, we lived it last year. Uh, I think that experience, uh, from those guys that were all involved, you know, it's, it's, it's constantly moving. It's a moving target of who is available. And, you know, there's still probably more to come moving down the road, unfortunately, but that's the, you know, the day that that's where we are right now today. So we'll see, but uh, there is no panic. This group will be ready to play um, regardless of who's calling it or who's out there. Thank you. Thank you, Marley. Ashley Bastock, you're up. Hey, Alex, Kevin talked about this a little bit, but I guess with him being virtual these next few days, as far as we know, like what's the mechanics of the communication like between you guys with him not there as like a coaching staff? Uh, Kevin's in every meeting, obviously, um, you know, he, he's as virtual as everybody else. Um, you know, he's obviously he, he comments throughout the course of the of the installations, and the meetings. Um, he's a part of it, just like he's in the room. Thanks. Appreciate it, Ashley. Nate Ulrich, you're next. Hey, Alex, uh, following up on that, um, you have him on the phone or will somebody else have him on the phone for walkthrough? Will he be virtually on the field with you guys for that? Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. Um, couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, and then on the offensive line with, with the, the moving parts there, um, what does that look like? Um, who are you – who do you have where as much as you uh, are willing to offer? And then um, what's your confidence in, in that group? You know, well, the two guys that will that'll be plugged into those spots, they played playoff football for us and started in, in games that we've won in the playoffs. So I'm confident in their ability. Um, very smart guys, tough guys. Um, you know, Coach Callahan will have those guys ready. I'm not concerned about them. So it is Hanson done. Could be, yep. Thank you. Thank you, Nate. We'll take two more. Cam Justice, Scott Petrick. Hey, Alex. You know, heading into the buy and even coming out of it, you guys have been making adjustments and working on your game plan for a full game of a dynamic offense. So how does this planning change if it does at all with so many starters now in question for Saturday? And then how do you continue that big picture planning amid all of what's happening right now? Um, you know, you got to be smart. Obviously, you got to know who your guys are and what they do well and play to their strengths. It's no different than uh, game planning for any other you know group of players that you have available. Um, been in this situation many times, um, not just through COVID, but injuries. You know, injuries happen throughout the course of the year. I've lost whole sides of the offensive line for an extended period of time. That's part of life in the NFL. You know, it just happened to be that COVID got us this time. Thank you. Thank you, Cam. Final one to Scott Patrick. Hey Alex, I know you guys figured out a way to make it work at tight end last week without David and Harrison. Um, but now if you need to use Blake as a lineman and Austin's out, and we don't know about David and Harrison. How do you go about figuring out that tight end? Well, there's still some healthy bodies up there that'll be active on game day. So if we need a big body in there, we have a few available. I mean, is that, do you have, do you feel like you have to change the offense significantly given how much you rely on those 13 personnel? I, you know, I thought we changed the offensive significantly last week without those guys. So we're, we're flexible and we're adaptable and uh, we're going to put the best groupings out there that we can.